Tomato sauce is a unique mother sauce in that it can be served on its own, used as the base for other derivative sauces, or be used as an integral ingredient in a number of savory dishes. Although some recipes may call for roux, tomato sauce is thickened mainly by pureeing. There are many ways of preparing tomato sauce. For this demonstration, we'll follow the recipe found in the companion materials for the culinary professional. Let's begin by reviewing the mise en place for this recipe. To make this tomato sauce, we'll use three ounces or 80 milliliters extra virgin olive oil, four ounces or 115 grams medium diced onions, four ounces or 115 grams medium diced carrots, eight ounces or 225 grams medium diced celery, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters minced garlic, two bay leaves, one tablespoon or 15 milliliters dried thyme leaves, one and a half gallons or 5.7 liters seeded and chopped tomatoes. Tomato sauce can be made from either canned or fresh ripe tomatoes, whichever are of higher quality. One quart or one liter white chicken or veal stock. One pound or 450 grams pork neck bones. Finally, we'll season the finished sauce with salt, white pepper, and sugar to taste. The first step is to put the olive oil in a sauce pot and sweat the onions, carrots, and celery over moderate heat until they are soft and the onions are translucent. Add the minced garlic and cook stirring occasionally for two minutes. Tie the thyme and bay leaf in a sachet and add it and the tomatoes to the sweated vegetables. The stock and pork bones are optional ingredients. For a vegetarian sauce, they should be omitted. Simmer the sauce for at least an hour. Stir it often to prevent it from scorching. Be sure to scrape the bottom thoroughly each time you stir. Continue to simmer the sauce until it thickens. Cooking time will vary depending on the moisture content of the tomatoes. Remove the sachet and pork bones. The tomato sauce can be pureed in a blender or food processor or with a food mill. Once the sauce is pureed, check its consistency. If it is too thin, the sauce can be put into a sauce pot and further simmered to reduce it to the desired thickness. Be sure to stir it often during the reducing to prevent scorching. When the desired thickness is reached, season the sauce with salt, white pepper, and if necessary, a small amount of sugar. If the sauce won't be used promptly, cool it to below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or 21 degrees Celsius, in two hours or less, and below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or five degrees Celsius, in less than a total of six hours. With the addition of ingredients like cream, herbs, onions, peppers, and chilies, tomato sauce can be used as a base for a variety of delicious sauces. It's also an important ingredient in numerous soups, stews, vegetable, and pasta dishes. Whatever the recipe, quality ingredients and careful simmering are keys to a superior tomato sauce.